Today, my dad and my mom joined me on the maiden flight of my giant, foamy Home Depot Hughes flying boat, aka the Spruce Goose. Here you can see me setting up for the very first takeoff. It was down at our soccer field. And you'll notice that as soon as I come on throttle, it noses over. Uh, and of course, I wanted to preserve the shape of the Hughes fuselage. And on ground, uh, it does tend to nose over initially on takeoff, but a little up elevator and it starts scooting. I'm sure it won't have this problem when I start operating off the water, which is the next step after I paint it. Uh, today went very well. I got two full flights of about uh, six to seven minutes each and this is the highlights from the uh, first flight. I'm still trying to get it trimmed, rudder and uh, aileron. Uh, this was the very first roll. I was very amazed at uh, how fast the roll rate was and that it was uh, the differential looked pretty good. This was the first loop and of course I came off on throttle on the top and closed it out uh, didn't see too much wing bending, which made me feel good. This was just a rudder test to see if there was any roll coupling, and very little roll coupling with the uh, rudder, very much like an old pattern plane. And this was some high, high alpha work just to see how it handled stall. And now we've transitioned to some inverted flights. I just wanted to see how it handled there. And it really had uh, no bad habits as long as I didn't get to a high alpha of attack, high angle of attack, uh, and slow speed. Anytime I had more than a third throttle on the aircraft, it handled extremely well. And below a third throttle, I just had to be careful not to give large aileron inputs when I was at high angle of attack. Here's the setup for the first landing and again it's completely throttle off. I learned uh, to put a little bit more throttle in on the second landing and I think when I get over the water I'll, I'll actually leave a little bit more power on. This is the uh, second flight. Again it pushed the nose down initially. I just had to wiggle it to get it to start scooting and as soon as it starts scooting it's in the air. I have about 5 pounds thrust and the total airframe weight right now is 4 pounds 1 ounces. Uh, that was the uh, first roll of the second flight. You'll see here as I get more and more comfortable with the airplane and get the uh, trims correct, I had to put in a little left rudder and a uh, little right aileron if I remember correctly. But you can see now I'm, I'm getting comfortable with it, uh, it tracks through the loops uh, very well. Uh, this was my first slow roll and because I knew that there was no uh, roll coupling with the rudder uh, I wasn't afraid to just fly it like an old pattern plane and uh, I think that was the hardest thing for me to get over is that the image it cuts in the sky is of this big heavy transport but yet it's really just a light foamy that handles like a pattern plane. Here I'm doing some uh, inverted work. Again, uh, it just handles uh, very well upside down, just like uh, it does right side up. There is a series coming up here where I do start doing four point rolls and I uh, do four passes and I keep experimenting with them. This is it right here. This is the first four point roll I tried. And uh, it holds the points fairly well. I didn't try to prolong them because uh, I'm working out of a tight soccer field and uh, that creates some issues, but you can see the uh, second four point was better than the first and uh, I believe the third one that's coming up on this next pass is even better. And of course as I get more comfortable I start getting lower. You'll see me dipping below tree line here many times. This soccer field is uh, has a perimeter of trees so it makes it a little tight but this airplane handled it very well. This is my first attempt at a Cuban 8 from where I was standing which was across the field from where the camera was. Uh, it looked pretty good to me but obviously it wasn't that good looking from the camera angle.
you get a good sense of what its profile is in the air and it really does look like the uh, spruce goose since that uh, it stole the silhouette correctly can't wait to paint it the aluminum gray color and get it out on the water this was another slow roll again really in rolling and looping there were absolutely no bad habits no bad habits as long as you keep it above a third throttle and then again as I said below a third throttle the important thing is no major moderate aileron use but no major aileron input because it stalls out one of the wing panels that was just to prove to myself that I had more power than I really needed uh, you can point this thing up and it would just go forever uh, that was two consecutive rolls and then I came off the power Here I am making another slow roll pass, a little slower this time. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to stretch them out as long as I want because the rudder is extremely effective uh, when it's on its side. This is me coming in for the final landing and uh, you'll see this one's even better than the first and I expect the ones on the water will even be better. Thanks for watching.